Tonight, we're going to learn about class action suits, who benefits and who is left behind. I'm Mary Lynn Schiavi, and welcome to Pro Se Nation. Uh, there's a kind of common belief that cl in class action suits, it's the lawyers who walk away um, with the lion's share of, of the rewards. I think it's very important for people to recognize that class actions offer an opportunity of recovery that they may not otherwise have when it comes to some kind of corporate malfeasance. Among the things that class actions potentially uh, give to a plaintiff is the, is the ability to make a statement. software device that defeated the emissions testing programs. Wow. So essentially the software could recognize whether the car was on the open road or whether it was hooked up to uh, an emissions test. Wow. If it was hooked up to an emissions test, all the pollution controls would go on. But if the car was on the open road, there were no pollution controls on. In, on September 21st of uh, this year, the CEO for Volkswagen USA came out and said, Yes, we misled the EPA and we misled our customers. Really? And um, in the United States, there were over 400,000 affected cars. Worldwide, there's over 11 million. Okay. And there's a very good chance that that class action, if it gets certified, will be in New Jersey mm -hmm. because New Jersey happens to be where VW USA is incorporated. Ah. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Jabberbaum Wargaft, where I work, um, represents a number of the um, victims of this fraud and we've initiated a lawsuit in order to try to get them compensated. Really what constitutes an employee these days, yes, right? That absolutely. is kind of at the center mm -hmm. of this question and so many companies are using contractors and consultants and mm -hmm. where does it begin and where does it end? Um, courts often lag far behind mm. what technology is able to do and uh, you know Uber is, a, is an example of uh, the, the use of the internet uh, getting a little bit ahead of, of the regulation of, of that use. If there needs to be regulation and mm -hmm. that's a whole separate uh, right. decision. Uh, um, the ripple effect is enormous. Um, obviously they're the employees themselves, the independent contractors or the employees, but it ripples out into personal injury lawsuits, workers' compensation lawsuits. Right. So the rights do need to be defined so that we know what we're dealing with in our society. And there, right. is, there are mechanisms for the law to address those things, but uh, you know, frequently it takes litigation for, for those, um, those guidelines to become uh, pronounced so that companies are informed about how they should act going forward. Mm -hmm. 